Does he have to be filming now? This is no good. This is perfect. Hey! This guy doesn't even have the technical know-how. He cannot let another man be successful in his presence. Steven Seagal is a polarizing figure in the martial arts space, and most of you guys don't love him from what I'm vibing off of. He recently got together with the UFC light heavyweight champion, Alex Pereira, and he wanted to teach him some deadly Aikido moves. Let's take a look. I'm gonna teach him how to punch in a way that's different. You ready for this? It will go through the gloves, and you won't be able to see it, and it's much, much, much more effective and can even be deadly. Does he have to be filming now? Bah! It's so deadly that I don't think it's safe to be showing this to people. I don't want to be liable for someone dying as a result of learning this technique. I don't know if you guys recall Ultimate Fighter, but Steven Seagal pulled the same exact trick on Daniel Cormier. He said, I need you to shut the cameras off. Please turn that off. What's up? Yeah. Off, off. From here, uh, Chop his eye. From here, chop his eye is what he's saying. Nice. Yeah, grab around his head like that. Put him in a Merkel. Uh, in wrestling, it's called a Merkel. Then straddle his leg and fall backwards. No, as a matter of fact, just chop his eyelid. Here, I'm stepping on his foot. I have him here like this. Now, I can hit him in the eye. I can hit him with his horse. But he's going to try to cover his throat. He'll try to do this. So you have his eye. You, you, you don't get in here very well. That's why the, the, the that's There's a confidence level that comes with wearing a whole black gown. Some of you guys are gonna say, Steve, that's called a kimono. No, it's not. That's a big black gown. Ooh, pull them in close. Chops the trachea. Try not to laugh. He's trying not to laugh because there's a back and forth going on. There's a back stem, hit the stem of the brain, and then the trachea. Stem, trachea. I think it's better for him to go to the eye. Okay, okay you go to the eye with the padding on the glove and whatnot. That should be effective against Jamal yeah, Hill. Yeah, it's already moved a little bit when you hit my eye like that. If you look at my hands, you can see, you know, all of them have been punching for. 50 years. Anything I hit you is going to fucking Had to make it about himself. Sitting there with the UFC light heavyweight champion, former middleweight champion, former two weight glory champion. He's going to talk about his hands being such monstrosities that whatever he touches turns to dust. No ego at all, this guy. I'm going to teach him to do that. I'm going to give him one of my custom materials. My balls can't break. He's ticklish, man. I'm a little ticklish myself, so I can get down with that. You know, imagine Seagal getting in your floaters with those little fingers, those chunky fingers, actually, just getting all up in the in the sinewy parts. <laughs> It's not really that, it's more just throw an uppercut. Thanks, Steve. <coughs> Gotta make the sound effect. You come to this side, same thing. You cover. Step on this if you can. You come in here if you can. Let's just do what you can. <laughs> When he comes here and, and you're down here, step on this, you go back on it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so he can feel, yeah. I just I, feel. I have a massacre. Oh, he's real ticklish. You could tell. Oh, yeah, he is. Do <laughs> this <laughs> My friend, see? Uh, and you angle, you, you, you can come this way to the eyes, come this way even to the head, or you can... They're talking behind his back in Portuguese. If you really pay attention, they're all like, this guy doesn't know what the fuck he's talking about. But let's just indulge him. He's an older gentleman. We respect our elders in Brazil. This way with the elbow. Oh, the elbow hurts more with the point of the elbow, for sure. I like the Brazilian guile in the background. You guys remember Guile from Street Fighter with the flat top? 
That's him. You know, I'm here. I got this. So let me get this straight. When you catch the arm, you do this. You got this. And then you just go, leave a like for the video. Oh, Segway Adonis, dog. This I don't kick like this. I kick like this. You see the difference? You feel the difference? This is no good. This is perfect. You know, Steve, you're real condescending towards him. Look at him staring at me while I criticize him. This is really difficult. Steve, my name's Steve too. We're not too different. It's hard for me to do this. I try not to do it. Steve, you're obsessed with him. You guys are obsessed. Let's be real. The comments I get anytime I post anything about this guy is ridiculous. He keeps penetrating, pause, the mixed martial arts world. If he stopped coming over to this side of the fence, I wouldn't talk about him. It's the truth. I wouldn't. The reason why Anderson Silva and Lyoda did knock them out is because they did what I told them. He just took credit for the great wins of both Lyoto Machida, world champion, UFC legend, and Anderson Silva, arguably the greatest fighter of all time in mixed martial arts. This man, an Aikido practitioner, who's an actor, who by the way is well into his 60s if I'm not mistaken, is taking credit for this. And any of you guys want to stand up for this guy in this black gown? And this is the greatest comment here. Pereira wins by left hook. Seagal, I taught him that. Nothing like a guy who's never actually fought teaching a two division UFC champ fighting techniques. Now there's exceptions. There are some phenomenal coaches that were never fighters. Danahar would be one of them. He was never a competitor, but he has the actual technical ability if you ever rolled with him or watched him roll where you can obviously see this guy's an expert in his field and that expert knowledge translates to competition. It's pretty logical. This guy doesn't even have the technical know-how. <laughs> He said, I got a high too. <laughs> he wrist locked him. I mean, the most dirty move you can possibly do to show your supremacy. He said, I'm going to do an elbow, right? And the guy's ready for an elbow and he f***ing wrist locks him. Steve, come on. Look at Alex. He's like, he's got a f***ing asshole, huh? No. You see, stand strong. Stand oh, strong. Here, here. Yeah. Yeah. I love the, the knuckle deal to the neck is my favorite. Give him the knuckle deal. Give him the knuckle. That's it. That's my sh The knuckle deal. Alex, him up, man. You can practice some for a push up, push up. But you also. Go from close. You see, you can tell by the sound how hard this is. Where's Bruce when you need him? Oh, don't hit back. Don't, don't, don't. This is like a great 80s movie. You got Dracula sitting on the side with his big overgrown suit on, and you got the world champion just punching a wooden block. This is just too funny, man. <laughs> Did you see the difference between me and him? He cannot let another man be successful in his presence. It's a complete megalomaniac, egotistical, self-centered narcissist who happens to look like Dracula. Yeah, he said, just fine. Well, this is really powerful. Why are you hitting him? Leave a comment. Is this guy, am I the one who's off or is this guy just a real piece of work? We originally covered this video on one of my live streams, but I figured I'd give a proper full breakdown of how ridiculous it actually was. In my opinion, Steven Seagal should go back to whatever Russian cave he's been living in and leave the fighting to fighters. If you enjoyed the video, turn on post notifications because I plan on going live on this channel every single week, so you're not going to want to miss it. Make sure you check out the link comment down below that's going to give you access to my mailing list where we focus on discipline, habits, and getting your mind in the right place. Strangle Gang, as always, stay strong, and I'll see you in the next one.